Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. And welcome back to Dungeon Run per school mode. Last time we hung out with Ifumi and figured out he had a Coke addiction. Huh. Anyway, we have now reached the point where we're on the last person. We finally made it. God damn, it's it's taken so long. We're on the last person. And we've saved him for last. So uh let's let's just go. Let's just go. First let me see if I can make any of these things. Fucking no, of course I can't. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to make any more. So I'm putting everyone on cleaning. I don't I don't I don't care. I I don't care. Basically reached the end of this of this go, so I yeah. Oh nice, Mondo leveled up. Alright. Hello Mbiakia. So we, we have not hung out with him at all, which, you know, makes sense. And so now, let's see what he likes. He likes the coffee, which we don't have any. He likes the scarab brooch. All right. You bastard! How did you get your hands on this? <laughs> Even the collective force of the entire Togami Corporation wouldn't be enough to obtain this gem? Uh, Alright. I have a question for you. You do? That's right. Something's been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore. So, to answer my question... Hmm. I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky student title means. Oh, well, I don't totally get it myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal students. So in other words... You just got into Hope's Peak by blind luck. <laughs> I see. Well, that answers my question. What was the question? How a commoner like you, with absolutely no unique talents or abilities, could get into this school? Oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. Boring? Generic? Do you really have to list all that off? Naturally. But it's the truth. Maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. But even I... You seem to think it's merely an issue of title. But make no mistake. My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they are all ultimate. Which is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. He's really taken this to the extreme. You, who have nothing. I, who have everything. We are living proof that all men are not created equal. You have my pity, Makoto. Life can be very cruel indeed. And because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from me to you to allow you to bask in my glory. Having finished his mean-spirited lecture, Byakuya left me standing there in silence. Anytime I talk to him, I need to be prepared for extreme psychological trauma. Ultimate perfection, eh? He just... Oh boy, he just gets worse. Great. Okay. Okay. All right, let's let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Nice, Mondo. Let's 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 keep going. All right, nice. Luckily, we have another Scarab, so I can just use that. Come on. Naturally. So, 
In other words... Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Is this a monologue or something? But I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us to even greater heights. It is suspected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck do you make that much money? In other words... The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets, based on market trends, all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. Uh, day trading? You were able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. But are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Byakuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern-day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? <laughs> of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. Like, worlds apart. Galaxies apart. It's just... Huh. His psyche is so just not normal. It, I, huh. All right. Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Once more. But now I have to see what else he likes. Come on. We have the golden gun still. Oh, we got four of them. Okay, that should be enough. I see. Listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. What could Byakuya want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling about this. Sure, what's up? You know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed in life. For the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Spending every waking hour toiling to scrape together a meager living, just barely getting by. I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? Because you're part of that 99% of course. Why'd you even feel the need to ask? I knew he was gonna insult me somehow. Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that. So I'm interested. So tell me. How does it feel to live a life without hope, without potential or ambition or dreams? Come on! I don't have ambition or dreams! I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but... Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of the 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that. Sorry, I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in any position to change the world. 
You could all disappear tomorrow, and nothing would change. Your existence is of no consequence. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spent all my time comparing my life to other people's, I'd never be happy. Sure, maybe you can do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born, so... What? Hold it. From the day I was born? You have no idea. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I am the chosen. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you, running away into a world of self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry, you run away from it all. That is why the 99% walk the path they do. Such ignorance. Good god, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprising amount of emotion, Biakula quickly made his exit. The heck got into him? Okay. Hmm. Okay, there's a little, there's a little, a little smidgen, smidgen of something there. Some, some traumatic backstory. What does he mean by battle? We must know. <laughs> Shut up, Monokuma. Alright, nice. Once more. The golden guns should be enough to get to his max. I don't know how many he has, but it should be enough. I see. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Huh? What? It's a proverb. It means if you can only attain something inferior, there's still that's still better than longing for something better. Yeah, I know what it means, but. So what? So in other words, Put another way, if all you have nearby is a loser, that's better than a proper assistant far away. Hmm. Makoto, be my secretary. What? A useless commoner like you can never hope to earn more than, say, $100,000 a year. But as my secretary, you would be guaranteed an ample salary and job security for the rest of your life. And in honor of it being my birthday today, how about I multiply your already impossible expectations by, uh, 5.5. $100,000 times 5.5? You mean... A, I would I would assume 550000 That's like board member money. What? Of course, as my secretary, you wouldn't be a mere servant. At some point, I would want you to become an actual assistant, taking the lead on important projects. Assuming you produce acceptable results, you could even become a core part of the Togami Corporation. So in other words you have no reason to refuse. This is all so sudden. I don't get why, but he seems serious about it. Still, I... I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say no. I'm trying to give you a chance to enter the battlefield of life and claim victory. Most commoners will never get that chance. This is literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Do you understand? This is your chance. This is your one and only chance to rise above the 99%. Are you really so scared of having to fight, to compete in order to win? It's not that I'm scared, it's that I want to succeed based on my own effort. I want to find my own battlefield. I don't want it handed to me, I want to earn it. I want to find something I'm willing to fight and die for. That's the only way I'll be satisfied. Then you meant what you said earlier. That if you can live a life you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I see. I'm glad to see you passed my test. I your test? Naturally. That's right. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes me physically ill. Wait, so then... What? The salary offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. I don't need you spreading rumors that Byakuya Togami doesn't honor his word. So he'd basically be paying me to do nothing? In a way. 
I almost regret my decision. But I must say, I just don't understand you. You don't want to fight, and yet you don't flee from the battle either. It's like I said, for me, happiness comes from living the life I want to live. Easy enough to say. Now you have to enforce your will until the very end. If you can do that, if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'll be forced to acknowledge you. And that's exactly what I'll do. Someday, absolutely. I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. Okay, we got some kind of... Some rapport here. Got some kind of... Ground understanding. We're getting there. I'm enjoying this more than Hifumi's. I think that just goes to show Byakuya is a better written character. Maybe. Alright. I feel like we should only maybe have like two left. How do you still not understand? Understand what? I've been sacrificing all this valuable time of mine for your sake. But it's all amounted to nothing. We simply have nothing to talk about. Not possible. We could talk forever and a day, and I would gain nothing from it. But the more we come to understand each other, you and I will never understand each other. We live in different worlds. Our ways of life, our ways of thinking are totally incompatible. You're a loser. So go ahead and live your loser life. Make a bunch of loser friends. Then together, you can lick each other's loser wounds. You don't have to keep saying loser. That's enough. Whether your self-indulgence is a lie or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep on fighting and I'm going to keep on winning. That's, right. That's one thing that will never change. But having to win all the time... Doesn't that make your life kind of hard? Such is the fate of the Chosen. Chosen. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you. You keep talking about the Chosen. What does that mean exactly? The way you say it, it seems a lot heavier than how I'd normally think of it. That's fine. Fine. If I'm going to waste my time with you anyway, I may as well explain this one last thing. I'll tell you how I became known as the ultimate affluent progeny. There's a story? So, in other words... It has to do with the secret to the Tokami family's prosperity. Our success from, comes from my family's rather peculiar inheritance system. Peculiar inheritance? What do you mean? You see, our family head never takes a wife. Rather, he couples with exceptional women the world over, in order to bear as many children as possible. All over the world? They then make the children compete, and only one can come out on top. And whoever it is, earns the right to become the next head of the family. You mean, you have to fight your own brothers and sisters? That's right. For my battle, there were 15 of us in total. When all was said and done, only one was still standing. The youngest brother. Me. <laughs> in the entire history of the Togami family, the youngest male had never won. That sounds brutal. I can't even imagine something like that. So, now you understand. I won my title in open combat. That is how I became the ultimate affluent progeny. I was not born into greatness. I had to earn it. In other words, I put my life on the line and I earned the right to be called the Chosen. Then, what about your siblings? Dead. Dead? Stop talking. I don't mean that literally, of course. They become dead to the family, unfit for the name of Togami. Of course, for them it really is like death. They're forced to become one of the 99%. One of you. But it must have been really hard, right? You can't even imagine. Which is why the survivor is recognized as the Chosen. When you take over as the head of the family, all the weight of that family comes to rest on your shoulders. 
That is how dedicated I am. I am forever dedicated to keep on winning. And so I shall. Otherwise, I would feel only pity for those I've already defeated. Hiakia pretty much said he carries the weight of always having to win. Winning comes natural to him. All I'll say at this point is that I'm going to win this game, too. It's been a long time since I've had so much fun. I need to get as much enjoyment out of it as possible. And in the end, I will stand victorious. I won't lose to the Mastermind, or you, or anyone else. Even as the rest of you fall one by one, I will live, and I will win. As long as my name is Byakuya Togami. The finality of his statement left no room for doubt or question. Nobody but Piakia could talk that way and sound so convincing. But because it's him, it seems possible that maybe that is his fate. Honestly, the more I talk to him, the more I see how far apart we are. At the same time, I feel like I understand him that much more. At least, I think I do. Now, let me be crystal clear. We no longer have anything to talk about. Do not come to me like this again. Goodbye, loser. I can't imagine any way Byakuya and I could ever become friends in this lifetime. Oh, Mr. Know-it-all, that, that's it. Okay. That's... we've, we've done it. Max to report card! Let's go! Oh, finally. Finally. And we still have a few free days left. To do about, um, nothing. We, we can't do anything with this. Yeah, there we go. Maxed out report card. Beautiful. And Byakuya was in a damn child battle royale. I'm not surprised, honestly. That, that sounds about right for him. Yeah, I guess, I guess we just burn through these last few days and see what happens at the end. I guess, spend time alone. Now, of course, we've made no um, Monokuma things, so... <laughs> yes, Alright, well, day off, but s still nothing. The double. Ding dong, bing bong. Okay. Day 50. We've made it. See what happens. Alright, folks. The final day of your precious carefree school life has arrived. Whether that makes you want to jump for joy or weep till you die, doesn't matter. This is it. So for the rest of the day, do your very tippy-toppy best. Um, okay. I'd... Oh, you get a free more double. Hmm. I wonder how many people we can max in one run. Oh, he was talking about last day. Okay. Here we are. The morning of the 51st day arrived, and Monokuma told us all to head to the gym. So, the day has come, just as promised. And I've discovered you don't have any motivation at all! You didn't complete one single backup. Your teacher feels nothing but betrayal. I thought I'd made myself clear, but I suppose I need to say this one more time. Until I have a proper backup, your real school life can't begin. So this is gonna keep on going. Keep on going? Why do you sound so surprised? I just told you to finish the backup by the 50th day. I never said it would end on that day. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! <sighs> so apparently, Monokuma is going to make us keep on living like this until we make a backup he's happy with. And we can't start our real school life until we do. When the hell are we ever going to get out of here? 
You should be thanking me. You'll never be as happy as you are right now. School's out for summer. We cleared school mode once. There we are. Okay, that's one run done. But of course, that's that's not at all it for for school mode. Um, I think continue. Skip the opening. And we're here. And um now we're now we're here. We still have port card filled out. We're back at day one. We have no more items, but we have all our levels. We have all our levels up, and that's definitely a plus. So now the goal for school mode is to actually make the Monokumas. And use our trip tickets to max out everyone again. But instead of free time events, they're they're different. And then everyone has an ending. We're still not gonna get out of here for a long while. But I think with that, I'll end it there. I've been player one, and I'll see you next time when I think I'll get to an ending first. I think. I don't know. I'll decide. Alright. Bye-bye.